ready? Yeah. We're always ready. Okay, cool. So, when when did you get this idea? How did you get this idea? Well, um, I'm a longtime subway rider. I've lived here since the 80s, and I was coming in before I moved here. Um, and I took a trip to Tokyo in the late 90s and took a subway around and kind of was suddenly surprised by how pleasant the sounds of their trains and their subways were. They have these nice little tones that indicate things. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really nice. I had never really thought about the sound of the subway in New York. It just was what it was. And I was like, well, these things make a beep when you swipe your card. It makes that kind of like beep thing. I was like, well, what if that was nice? What if it was, you know, more of a round tone that was nice on the ears as opposed to, and instead of them all being slightly out of tune with one another, what if they were musical, like different notes for different swipes? So like, you know, I'll show you, like, well, this works. We've got this set up. Um, this doesn't take money. Um, each station, each, each turnstile can do one of any of eight notes. And there's a little probability engine that mostly plays that note because it's the root, um, but also plays all these other notes. So when it's busy, it'll kind of make music. I was like, that would be so cool. Uh, I don't know, that was just my little idea. And then it started being like, well, what if each station was slightly different? Then you'd have different music that you'd go from station to station, you'd feel this different, yeah. different kinds of, because music's kind of pre, it's pre-linguistic. It's, you, you hear music before you hear words. Sure. Like you hear it in, your, in the timing of your brain. Like it's like this, it's a little closer to your emotion, which is why people cry when there's no lyrics. You know, so I don't know, I felt like it'd be cool to, to have people's like kind of grind, like the commute can be a bit of a grind, like have an opportunity for beauty. And not as like an art project, but as like civically, that's just what, in 10 years, we won't even think about me. I'll disappear from public consciousness. It'll just be, this is what the subway sounds like. Right. You know, that's the idea. Yeah. So have, were you like in a studio writing the music that's gonna appear here? It's all sort of programming. It's, I don't, I, th I don't think it should be me. I have the over, I have like the overarching idea of what it can be, but I feel like it's not one person's job, or it's not one person's right, I think, to pick all the music. Sure. I think it should be, I'm hoping it'll be a bunch of different artists that are kind of emblematic of New York, and maybe some like kids at a good music program at a public school, like, you know, mm -hmm. to pick some of it and work together with like composers and you know, I'd love to have like Philip Glass, I'd love to have Jay-Z, I'd love to have DJ Premier, I'd love to have, you know, Nick Zinner from Yeah Yeahs, I'd love to have Laurie Anderson, I'd love to have like a, a really wide, you know, uh, Nico Mooley, I'd love to have like a wide variety of people that make music in the city, because this is a great music city, we're a great, like, it's one of our great exports, you know, it's one of our, you know, culture and art and creativity is one of our number one exports, so. There's so many good people in the city. I'd love to pull as many of them together to work with kids and communities to try and make the music together. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't think it's really my job. Uh, it's, not my, it's not my right, I think. What do you think was the most challenging part of making this project happen? I think the most challenging part is still to come. It's to get, <laughs> it, to, it's to, get it to actually get, to, to, to happen. Right. Uh, tech, the, so far, it's been an easy idea. It, feel, it feels like when I explain it to people, they, it's like, oh, that makes sense, it's logical, that works. Um, the next hurdles were like technological and uh, uh, you know, we have now built some prototypes and we're work, trying to do research into how the, the MTA's note generator that makes the <coughs> works and see if we can modify that to do this without any kind of extra apparatus. Um, get that to happen when they go to the tap and ride so it's all one, it's not like interfering, it all happens at once. Um, so the technology, technology part was the second one. The third one's gonna be like, how do we make it work for the most New Yorkers? How do we make it more, uh, more usable by people with, uh, uh, you know, uh oh, you're getting tapped. It's soon, it's gonna make it, how do we make it better for like the hearing uh, impaired and vis visually impaired people, like, sure. it, so that it works, so it's more information so that, I mean, if, I, if it doesn't work for me, I just slam into the turnstile and then go, oh, uh, you know, so like, how do we make, how do we make more information that's usable for people, w w regardless of uh, uh, you know who they are, just as many people as possible. So like, that's the next stage, and then the last stage is how do we get, how do we make it an easy enough yes for the MTA? Because we don't like I, I'm 
I'm a big subway fan, and uh, I really am. It's so weird. I'm like in, totally in love with my city. It's like with my subway. After traveling around the world, nothing is as extensive, 24 hours, as cheap. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of cool. Other cities have zones where once you move a little further out, you pay more. So you save on rent and it goes up, you know. So how do we get, how do I not burden the MTA with this? Right. How do we make, as, do their work for them as much as possible? Do, do the work for this project and then present it as something easy for them to put in. That's the goal. Because I want them to continue to focus on like, how do we get the Second Avenue line done? How do we make sure it's safe? How do we, you know, all that stuff. So we can come by and be like, well, when you're putting that tap and ride in that's gonna be the new way of paying, just stick this chip. Uh, yeah, literally like, yeah. like as simple as that. Like, because yeah. I think it's not, we need to make it easy on them because they have a real job. Sure. So I see a lot of comparisons with this project and the tennis data project and that you're, you're kind of, yeah, okay, so I see I'm not the first one to connect these. No, well, no, it's, it's, but it's, it, I, one of the reasons I was excited to do the tennis project was to experiment with data-generated gen music. Sure. Um, so can anything be translated into music? I think to a certain degree. Um, I mean, it depends on your definition of music, I think. Uh, okay. But I think probability is an interesting way of looking at music. I mean, I, I work with, my favorite, one of my favorite instruments is a thing called the Muse. Uh, it's by a company called Computers. Computers for people. It's like an old machine I have it, and it's like it has all these like themes that it switches through, and it plays music kind of semi-randomly, um, it, but it's controlled random. Um, I would suggest going on YouTube and looking up the Muse. It's the coolest machine you'll see. Um, but it's one of my favorite things. It's like constantly surprising and evolving, and, and it's and it's harmon harmonious, and that inspired me to like figure out how to how do we work with the the making this harmonious and, and surprising, not just like statically playing the same things all over. And it's because each, each, uh, each time you swipe, there's a little probability engine that goes, it's like a little bunch of ping pong balls, and it's like that note. And there's more likely the root, and then it becomes like surprising notes. So that at rush hour, you'll hear like hums, and then boom, boom, boom. Like it's mostly this root core with a couple of surprising notes that create the musical side of it, if that makes any sense. Can we expect like a remix EP, like some subway station? My dr my dream is that this gets done and I don't have to make any remixes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you so. Yeah. Sorry to be. Uh, no, it's 